Hello, I'm going to show you how to clean the uh, Tandem Cross Game Changer Compensator. Uh, this is a uh, black hard coated anodized uh, Tandem Cross. Now this compensator has over 5,000 rounds put through it and you can see it is, it's like brand new. This has been cleaned about every 300 rounds. You can see the inside is like brand new. And that's pretty much how I try and keep my compensators. I try and keep up with them about every 300 rounds. Pretty much every time I clean my gun, I run my compensators through. Here is a uh, clear hard coat anodized tandem cross compensator. Now this one uh, only has about maybe, uh, I think I've cleaned this maybe six, seven times, 300 rounds each time. And this one currently has about 300 rounds put through it. You can see how black it is on the inside. And if you look at the ports, you can see how black they are. So we're going to go ahead and clean this one. Let me show you the recipe I'm going to be using. I'm going to uh, make paracetic acid and I'm going to use a hot mix, which is going to be two ounces of distilled white vinegar, two ounces of hydrogen peroxide, and two ounces of water. I want to end up with six ounces total. And that's going to be in this jar. This jar is going to be my neutralizing cleaner solution and that's six ounces of fresh water, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and one half teaspoon of palm olive dish liquid. And I use the original green. Uh, you can use um, Dawn or, or, or any dishwashing detergent, your choice. But this is going to be my neutralizing cleaner. Uh, so I'll go from point A to point B to neutralize it before I handle it. Some safety tips, you want to watch my video on how to prepare your compensated solution. You want to make sure you wear gloves. You want to wear safety glasses or goggles. You don't want to splash this on you. It will burn your skin. It is also very irritating to the lungs, eyes, nose, and respiratory system. So you want to use it in a closed container. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place the compensator into our acid. I've already got my mix. So I'm going to get that ready. Pull the lid. Take my compensator pick it up with my stainless steel rubber tip tweezers, remove the lid, place it in, place the lid back on immediately, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to neutralize my tweezers because I don't want to smell that parasitic acid. So just neutralize them real quick, set the tweezers down. Now I have my ultrasonic cleaner set to 480 seconds, so I'm going to run it for 8 minutes. If you're going to soak it manually, you want to soak it for at least one hour before you're going to take your compensator brushes and run those through the ports. The reason why you want to do that is you want to remove the dissolved lead will create a film in those ports. By removing that film will allow the fresh lead to be exposed to the parasitic acid and it'll just, it'll just uh, uh, clean much quicker if you do that. But for uh, this video we're going to show you how to use the ultrasonic cleaner. In the cleaner I have the water up to my minimum line inside the ultrasonic cleaner. You want to add water to the ultrasonic cleaner. You don't want to try and run it dry, you'll burn it out. So I'm going to place my container, oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to place my container of my parasitic acid with the compensator into the ultrasonic cleaner. But let me show you this, how it's bubbling. You can see those bubbles coming up and the water starting to cloud that's already starting to eat the lead. Anytime you see bubbles coming up from that compensator in your solution that means there's lead still in there. So I'm going to place that in, put the lid on, and I'm going to go ahead and run it. 480 seconds I'm going to do this twice. So a total of 16 minutes and I'll see you back then. So kick it on and I'll see you back in 16 minutes. Okay we're now just finishing up on 480 seconds twice. So a total of 16 minutes, I'm going to remove my compensator and the solution from the ultrasonic cleaner. And I'm going to show you how black that water is. That's dissolved lead. Okay, we're going to remove the compensator and we're going to place it into our neutralizing solution. But before I do that, I just want to show you on this same exact compensator, the black anodized compensator. We're going to go ahead and hold it like this and then I'm going to take and I'm going to run my brush through the ports, the side ports. We're going to hit both sides at the same time. There's four on each side. So I'm going to come in 
and that's going to hit the very top side, the middle, and down to the, through the bottom. So you're going to hit everywhere on each one of these ports. Then we're going to we're going to go in and hit our top ports on the top, and then I'm going to show you how to clean the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and remove our compensator, place it into our neutralizing solution, and I want to put this lid back on immediately. Place that in my neutralizing solution, close the lid. I don't want to breathe, I don't want to breathe this, and I want to set this out of the way. Okay, now that our compensator is neutralized, I can now grab it with my nitrile glove hand and I'm going to run my brush through. And it looks like it's pretty well cleaned out already. And that's about 300 rounds. And there's really nothing coming off. It's pretty well cleaned it. There's a little tiny bit on there, a little gray, not much. So you can see a little bit, but running it twice like that really did the job. And that's about 300 rounds. Okay, then I'm going to take the back side of my compensator brush. I'm going to use the short stubby one. This one I normally use on the back side of the Volk Hortzen compensator. This one's already been cleaned. Just take that and turn it. Pull it back out. Now on the front side I'm going to use the cone shaped compensator brush on the front here. And I'm just going to run that straight through until I see that comes out the front like that and just give it a couple spins and pull it back out. Okay, that completely got the inside of this compensator. And let me do a quick rinse and check this, but I don't think I'm going to have to run this again. I think this did the trick. 300 rounds. Yeah, there's a little bit left in there in the back, on these, these, these back ports. I can see a little bit in there. So I'm going to run it another 480 seconds. I'm going to go just 280 seconds on this next run. So I'm going to pull my compensator solution. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to change this solution to a fresh batch, batch of solution so we can see how much is left in here. So you can compare how dirty this is with, with a brand new solution. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run that for 480 seconds with a new solution. And so I'll see you back in 480 seconds. Okay, we're just finishing up on round three. 480 seconds. This is round number three. So we've got a total of 22 minutes. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see what it looks like. Okay, you can see that the parasitic acid solution just has a light gray haze to it. Just doesn't have that clarity it did when we started. But that's going to tell me this compensator is done. That pretty much removed all the lead at this point. We're, we're going to double check it and see. So I'm going to, with my stainless steel PVC tip tweezers, remove the compensator directly into the neutralizing solution. Get that lid back on. Do not breathe it. Also make sure you're in a well ventilated room. No pets or children around. Okay. Get my nitrile glove on. Even though this is pretty clean. tell by just looking in there there's nothing left so I don't think I'm gonna have to run the compensator brushes through rinse off that detergent and baking soda in my fresh water let me take a look at it with my eye loop this is a three times eye loop you can get these at Harbor Freight there's a set of four of these very inexpensive but that'll give you a good look inside the compensator
And I use this on my gun barrels. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing left in there. Let me dry it off and show it to you. <clears throat> that is spotless, like factory new. Now that's 300 rounds. If you have a compensator that you know has three, four, or five thousand rounds put through it, and these ports are starting to clog up, just keep repeating this process until everything clears up. Now, if you soak this compensator, it would be equivalent about three hours of soaking versus 22 minutes with the ultrasonic cleaner. I clean just about everything, including my my guns, in the ultrasonic cleaner. You can look at my videos on that. Now, you don't use this solution though. I use different solutions for different different cleaning, but my hands stay completely spotless and as you can see on that rag, that paper towel, there's absolutely nothing, just pure white. And I'll let you take a look at that. Now you can see down inside there, no black at all, like brand new. You look in those ports. The front of the compensator. And look at the finish on the compensator. It looks factory new. So anyways, that's how I clean my uh, Game Changer Tandem Cross compensator. These are very well made compensators. They can be a bear sometimes if you don't know how to clean them properly. But they are made of high strength uh, T6061 aluminum. So it's basically structural aluminum. So it's a very good quality product. And like I said, this one's got well over 5,000 rounds and it still looks factory new. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.